Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Seven Days to Die, No Blood Moon on the Radio Man 03, and it is awesome to have you along. It's a Saturday. I know. I know. Variety's gone for a week, so I'm going to be uh, doing some recording, at least over the weekend here. We're going to get started on uh, the new location today. At least go over there and take a look at it. We've got some chores we got to do around here first. Um, first thing I was going to do today is, um, well, I don't like our doors. They defeat the purpose of my my uh, weapons here. And so I feel like I'm not using my weapons because the door flips up and down, up and down. So what I want to do is I've swapped out the other one. I'm going to swap out this one too. I'm going to go back to manual. It's not a big deal to open and close these doors. Uh, oh, oh, I saw you. No, come on now. You should, you should pop right into there. You know what? I wonder. Let's uh, let's remove this guy right here. There we go. We can't pick him up. All right. Let's try this again. Uh, I, there it is. There it is. Okay. Beautiful. Perfect. Um, yeah. I, I liked the other way. I, I didn't want to come up with a way to turn this on and off. I want to be able to manually do this myself. To be honest with you, because I am using it as a a fight corridor at the moment you know what we've been using it for we've not been able to do that lately because I just I don't know it just doesn't feel right it's just weird so I don't like the door flipping up and down so I'm taking it off and we're not gonna have it on those doors sorry <laughs> it just it makes more sense to me to be able to use all my stuff here uh, my weapons and have some fun with the zombies as opposed to having the door go up and down and trying to come up with another switch and all that stuff um, uh, so you saw the trees right yeah, look at that. Doesn't that look glorious out there in the distance, huh? We're going to chop them all down, replant those, and then take the other ones we get and scatter those about up onto this hillside right here. And that is what I'm uh, not going to do just yet. Not next. I wanted you to be able to see those, though, and, and see, you know, what they look like. They're pretty cool. They're pretty cool. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to fix this first. Uh, our... Copy rotation. There we go. I need to get these guys fixed up because the zombies are getting into them and causing issues. I don't want them banging on the walls as much as they get to. Uh, let me turn my light on for you guys. It's The sun is just coming up. As you know, the music was there playing for you. Hope everyone's doing great. I'm doing fantastic. I'm doing fantastic. Here we are. A little seven days to die on Saturday. It is actually um, very early. Come on. What what the heck? There we go. It was just, just not seeing it. It just wasn't seeing it. You know what I mean? Jellybean just was not seeing it. Uh, this side doesn't get picked on quite as much as the other side. Oh boy, that's that's the wrong way. But it still works. It'll still work. Uh, looks like we got a banged up one down here. This is... Th nope, that's just also pointing in the wrong direction. So you can see that they don't spend a lot of time on this side of the base. It's the other sign that gets hit all the time. All the time. Uh, yes, you can go right there. And, of course, right underneath these guys here. This is where they like to congregate because this is where, of course, we are standing. Maybe what I should do here is double this up. Right there, under the door. Like so. Yeah, I think maybe that's what we'll do right there. And then let's go ahead and fix that up. There we go. Thank you for the continued support on the series. I do appreciate it very, very much. That block has taken some damage right there. Um, I don't think I have what I need either. No, I need cement mix for that. Okay, so let's get some cement mix. Uh, this guy needs to be fixed. There we go. Yeah, you got to do this every now and again, right? Otherwise, it's going to get away from me, and it's going to be so much. I still haven't painted this either. I feel really bad, too, because I want to get that taken care of. I've try been trying really good to, uh, this season of this particular game to make sure I have things kind of further along and just... You know, my series, sometimes they just stop because, you know, there's no interest. But uh, I'm just really hooked on this one. I'm just so hooked on this game. It's really great. Uh, oh, by the way, I've got a bunch of cement uh, concrete mix going on right now as well. Okay, uh, we've got more of this coming in. I just have, I got like 9,000, 10,000 of those going right now in the cement mixers making more concrete mix. And I've loaded up the Jeep to take it over to the new spot with a bunch of building stuff 
as well. So that's there too. Um, what did I come running up here for? Oh, I came up here for some uh, some of this. Point. There we go. And I think we could probably leave that down. All right, there we go. Oh, that's oh, that's gotta feel better, right? That block was pretty well damaged right there. I wonder what they saw about that spot. I guess maybe it was damaged and I didn't notice it. Once they find a damaged block, that's a weak spot. They're pretty smart like that. And full disclosure, I don't I don't know about a horde knight or any or or, or that sort of thing. I don't know. I'm really into this for just can't stress it enough just to be an apocalyptic survivor I've, I've got my own plan we we're going to get to level sixes on everything and uh you know get all the books and, and do all the things and you know play with the game and have a good time and i feel like that's that's really enough for me i don't have to have a base that can withstand uh, something like that although i do like to have it so it can defend itself from the hordes we do get, the witches, you know, if they're screaming, you know. Um, I do like the fact that we uh, try to prepare for that, which is what we're doing right now. Our, well, let's go uh, R, copy rotation. So I'm, I'm just re-emphasizing that, and I, I probably will over numerous episodes, just so people understand what I mean by no blood moon. I'm really into this for what we've built here. This has been so much fun building this, uh, this fort. I've had a great time building the fort. And I've got, I've, I've got ideas on the other spot, too. They just kind of start popping in my head, and we'll take you over there today, and we'll take a look at that. So I think uh, maybe I should double spike down here. We've got 17 left. Let's do it. Let's go ahead and uh, let's double spike this here. I probably should do this, to be honest with you, um, all the way around. Have it double spiked. Uh, and sure, why not? There we go. Okay, and how's this wall over here? This one tends to get beat up on as well. Looks like it's doing okay. We should actually check, um, I hear them every now and again attacking this stuff out here, it seems like. But maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong. Oh, jeez. No, 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 no. I did not want to do that. Oh, no. Let's take that out of there before it dries. Dang it. Jim. It's early. It is. It's uh, it's my Saturday morning. It's 9.40 a.m. Normally, I am just lounging on the couch and have basically a cat blanket covering me. There you go. Like nothing ever happened. Brian spanking new. Fix this up. A little bit of dent. A little bit of dent action going on here. It's just the nature of the landscape. It's all right. I'm okay with it. We got a jeep. The jeep can't handle that. The jeep's a sissy. Okay, I think we're good. I think I think we're good. Beautiful. How are you? Uh, you look. You're you're looking perfect. Everybody's fine. All right, there we go. Yeah, I'm just. I hope you don't mind, but yeah, I think that's uh, a much better solution for our door. A much better solution. I'm gonna turn my headlamp off. It's just so bright. It seems like. And okay, so we are done with all of that. Let's go ahead and drop those in there. We're gonna keep the metal on us. We don't need that cement mix. We could drop that off. Yeah, so these guys are kind of done cooking for now. I've got a bunch of cement mix going, and these guys are making me some nice metal uh, iron frames. Uh, I believe it's uh, 500 each. Yeah, 500 each. So they're making those up for me, so I have them at the other location as well, because I do love these blocks. It's kind of a theme we have. We should keep it kind of going a little bit, too. Uh, where do I have Essence? I think Essence is on the Jeep. Yeah, there she is. Beautiful. All right, excellent. Oh, oh, we made some armor changes too. You might notice the uh, the old <laughs> the old cap is a little different here. Let's take a look here and see. We changed it up a little bit. We are now wearing a level five. I got this out of an airdrop while I was uh, working out at the new place uh, yesterday when I was playing on my own. 
And so we've got a level 5 now uh, SWAT helmet, which is pretty cool. I've also switched this to the military leg armor. It's a light armor rating, but it was better protection than the scrap ones that we were wearing. And then I did use the military six boots, and that's what I have on those guys there. Did I click on the pants? There. I need to get better mods for the pants. But uh, that's that there. And I changed the color of our shirt to brown. I changed our, our pants to uh, black. We've always had a black trench coat. And then we've got our, helmet, our SWAT helmet. Yeah, we're looking pretty tough. Come on, bring it, you, you dirty, filthy zombie. <laughs> okay. okay, now that the modeling is over, let's go on out and chop down a few trees. I, wanna, I figure I'm getting two um, uh, seeds each time I cut one of these down, so I'm going to double, uh, double my trees here. But I like where these guys are, and so we're going to leave these here. I'm going to just replant them right where they are. And then I'll take the other seeds and I'll spread those up the hillside there. And I'll probably have to do this a couple of times uh, before I'm done. But uh, I think it'll be a nice way to give us a little bit of a, a snowy Christmas look to the place. And let's just drop those right in there. And I figured I'd just go ahead and plop it one right back where this one is because it looks nice where it is. And then come over here and do the same thing. I have strategically placed the trees. We have just two left. Coming up on this ridge here, we're going to have a little bit of white over on this side too in the background. It's going to be nice. It's going to be real pretty back here. And uh, let's put one right on the edge. There we go. Right like that. So now what I've done is I put a few more, like, well, you just saw me put these up here. So they're coming down this way. And then I've got one over there, so it's a little bit out in the up front there. And then I've got the rest of them in the back here. Ah, oh, you would be feathers. Uh, so we've got them now stretching along this entire ridge line right here. So that's good. And I'll probably do that one more time, and then uh, call it at that, and that'll be enough uh, of the Christmas trees around. Sure, I'll take that, and I will clean up that garbage. Very close to the property. Very close to the property indeed. Hmm. So there's another one right here. So it'll look nice. It'll look nice up here on the hill. And then we've got other ones down in here. So it's a nice little uh, nice little valley. Nice little valley. Uh, yep. Nope. Thank you. Okay. So that is that piece of the day taken care of. I got 3,298 3, wood on me. Okay. I was also thinking I should cut down the tree farm. Uh, where's my motorcycle? There it is. Uh, the tree farm would be good to cut down and get replanted just so I've got the wood supply. We are uh, starting to build in the new location and we talked about building bigger and maybe a little more grand and uh, maybe a little sci-fi to it or something of that nature. Just uh, something, you know, larger, larger. Yeah, bigger, bigger. My problem is I'm having a hard time figuring out how I'm going to defend it. That's the that's the thing. It's just it, these are not necessarily, you know, these are not zombie horde builds. You know, these are just just for fun. Just have fun. Oh, more gas, please. There we go. That's the only way to do it. Okay, we've uh, cut the trees down. There's a couple that I leave here just because they look nice along the road. Uh, but uh, there we go. There's there's our wood supply now. That's pretty sweet, huh? Uh, the bike. I left the bike back here. I'm, I'm just ready to just run everywhere now. I put a point into uh, the heavy armor so I can move a little bit better. And then I went and switched some of my armor to lighter armor. I know it's, it's weird, but that's, that's just who I am. I guess I'm weird. I thought I heard something. Hmm, that's weird. Okay, I thought I heard, I thought I heard somebody moaning like they needed some help. <laughs> so I was gonna help them. 
to rid them of their uh, zombie life. Uh, the, the witches have been very busy uh, this last night. They were There was quite a few of them that actually showed up. Quite a few. Yeah, beautiful. Bingo. All right, give me one second, and then I'll come back. Brady just gave me a little uh, ding, so I'll be right back. I love the fact that when we start going down our dirt road, there is this hangsman's uh, gallows here, just just sitting there with some pews by it. It's just very weird to have that out there. And this dirt road is amazing. You gotta have a 4x4 back in here, right? This is just nuts. Look at this. This is a cool road. So, this is our dirt road. Leads out to our place. Uh, we're not quite at the exact junction of our road, but we are on a road that takes us to our junction. It's right up ahead here. That's our cue to make a left. This here is our road. Now, I was thinking, there's guardrails in the game, right? Arizona has guardrails everywhere because there's this sort of terrain everywhere. This right chunk of road right here could use a guardrail right through here and along here. There would be guardrail here. So I'm thinking about doing something like that. I thought it'd be kind of cool to work on this road. <laughs> Maybe a little bit. Look out, chicken! Oh, I killed a wolf. We don't need the chicken. We got a wolf. Alright, we're out the spot. Nice. Perfect. This is the spot right here. Mm -hmm. What we have at the moment. Uh, some of this is in its right place. Not much of it's in its right place. It's just all kind of uh, just a bit of a drawing right now from my head to look at. Uh, but this diameter circle up here is 21. Now, I was fiddling around with this on Friday night. And uh, here's our middle. And so we have a seven wide gap right there. We've got another one right here. We've got another one right there. And we've got another one right there. The lake uh, starts to trickle in right here. On this side is what I want to build. And, and again, full disclosure, it's not necessarily a horde night trap but just a zombie trap so that when they do come to our location here that's where they want to go because they think they can get to me so I've got an idea for that so there's something here that they would enter into and we will have blade traps and, and turrets and things like that to kill them because they are again they're just going to keep getting stronger um, and then here we do some kind of a area right here where we can actually visually see what's going on and that's what gives them the idea hey this is the best way to get to this guy is right over here so hopefully that will work uh, and then on this the rest of the bottom floor down here eventually I would like to have some kind of an industrial looking like forge room almost and something like that uh, so this this will be a fully functional base as well we've got the other base which is going to help us build this bigger base yeah yeah I know weird but I figure, what the heck, we've got time. We might as well build something else. And uh, I, I can actually practice a little bit on, on building something a little bit bigger, too. So we've got the 21 radius here. We've got a lower area, and we have an upper area. Now, this needs to be... I feel like this is probably at a pretty good height at this level right here. Then what I want to do is I want to do something else, a different diameter up here, and we're going to connect them with um, some sort of walkway. Right here, what I'm thinking is I'm going to do a, a five-round um, circular kind of a causeway thing that we could walk across. It's got a nice uh, platform that it's, it's standing on, and down here we have maybe spikes and stuff that just kind of help protect the legs and things, and the legs will be sizable. Um, and then I thought we could also do something that comes over here and goes up this way. And we could put something up on this hilltop as well. Almost like um, multiple, I guess, towers. The trick is, is defending the towers. 
And of course, we'll put a land claim block in here. And I guess what we could do is we could move it around. If we got to move something, we just put it down. If I remove a land claim block and then put a land, land claim block back down, can I still pick up my stuff? Or has that ruined it because I took the land claim block out? I'm not sure about that. I think it works. I think, I think as long as I put one in an area where something I've placed is, it will allow me to pick it up. I think. So it, this is a bigger area, but if we can get it, you know, built chunk by chunk, we can put a land claim block here. And if we have to, we can move it over to here and move it over to there. You know what I mean? Jelly bean. We could do that. But I was thinking about a tube that would come across here and kind of enter into the side of this and then allow us somehow to get up on top of this knoll right here. It was my other thought, because this is a really nice view of the lake as well. If you take a look at that, that looks really nice. That's a nice view. Um, and then the other spot that I really like up here, which again, we can encompass all of this into the build, but we'll have our main structural towers um, with inside. We have to do something to keep them from just walking right in. So there's going to have to be a structural wall around this that you know uh, protects us from the zombies something um, and I'm imagining turrets is going to be our best option uh, for something like this the SMG turrets or the shotgun turrets either one of those would be probably the best bet and we'll just make sure they're on all the time and that they can you know scan an area but uh, but the idea, again, is to try to find a way to make something in here that has blade traps and maybe some dart traps, electric fences, and just kind of a grid across here uh, with the poles. You've seen the trap. And they can see us, and that's the best way to, they can get to us so they walk through our trap. And maybe we use trip plates so that when they step on the trip plates, it activates the trap. It kills them, and then when they die and fall off of it, it just shuts off, and it's not draining our power constantly. That would be probably a pretty good thing to do. Um, and then we got to wire something like that too, you know. So that's interesting. So yeah, there's there could be there there could be tons of awesome things to do here. The first thing I have to do though is kind of get something set in stone. I need to be able to uh, work out here at night. I have not seen a whole lot of zombies. Every now and again, though, due to the fact that I am here, of course, we do have one spawn, you know, close by. I usually, I haven't had anybody walk up on me, let's put it that way. I've been safe and sound. So if I were to pull this out by six, how far does that go? Ugh. Yeah, see? Hmm... The thing is, is I've got to make this climb up to this. That's why I was thinking about bringing this actually down into this area here. Maybe that's a better idea too. See what I mean? I've, I've just, I've got kind of a general idea in my head as to what I'm thinking about doing, but I'm not super sure yet. Something like this right here. Oh, see, it's just, it's coming out so far. It's just an odd turn, you know? This is going to be an odd turn. I guess I could put up a retaining wall out of rebar and concrete along this and do kind of a retaining wall along this area right here. I've even thought about doing some kind of sort of a, like a, just a parking area right here that would be just down here and then we would have a way to get in, you know, from here. We'll, we'll use our entrance to get in and out. But I thought about just doing kind of a, a truck and, and then Essence could go here. Or we could even probably drive Essence right inside. But that's what I want to do with the Jeep is I want to be able to drive it inside and kind of park in this first upper area that's going to be up in here. Right up in here. Well, not up there, but, you know, right over here. So I could dig down a little bit. I was thinking about shaving this off right here. Taking that back and seeing what happens when I do that. Maybe that's the next thing I should do. The entrance is important. If I don't have the entrance right, then the rest of the place is just going to look weird. So 
you know, I'm being picky. I'm going to use my shovel too because uh, it's easier for me to control. Auger gets away from me. Oh, there's a level. Five by six. Drawbridge goes literally what level here? Um, we're still coming down a few here, and I was going to actually have this one stretched down into the ground so we could have the kind of the trap area down here and bring it out to about maybe this far. Not too far, because I don't want them thinking that going up and beating on the walls of the base is what they should do. They should come here, and then down here we will have uh, the kill chamber back into the hillside. And then our next area is above, and that's where the jeep and stuff is going to be able to pull in. Okay, this is starting to make a little more sense to me. So there's going to be some, some, definitely some terraforming right through here. Because, yeah, I do. I want to bring this down, and then I want to really structurally you know, strengthen this and bring it out and turn this into just a nice um, five-wide trough through here. So we could put our trap in here. We'll have some turrets in here, some blade traps in here, and some dart traps in here too, and electric fences. I have got to outline this, you guys. It's going to take me a little while to kind of figure out how I'm going with this. And then once I get going, it, it should start to fall together. But, you know, it, for me, this first part is really important. If I screw this up, um, it's going to reflect the rest of the way through. Yeah, that's in the final post, so I need to go back in one more here. So I don't really see a way around not having uh, basically a wall around the area that we're going to be living in, basically, to steer them in a direction. So for the entranceway, in order for me to make this, I think, work for me, is I'm going to put, we're going to come down the road, and be able to drive up on this platform. It, it just sits really nice, just like this, boom. And we're gonna be actually, we're gonna have a ramp that's gonna take us up. And now the zombies are gonna be able to walk up this ramp as well. They're gonna be able to get up on top of this area right here, because this is, this is now the level that we're at when we're driving in, okay? Over here, this is all filled in, of course. Over here, what we have now is the zombies reach this point, and now they're gonna hit what's going to be a pit right here uh, we'll probably fill this in too like that so as they're running towards what is going to be the drawbridge back in here we're gonna set the drawbridge back a little bit so it's three it's five by six so we've got three so we got to go one two three back and then we can put the drawbridge back there and then we'll have a few blocks on the inside to decorate around that drawbridge and we'll have uh, room on the outside to do that as well and then of course the zombies I'm thinking what we'll do here we don't want them to get trapped in here because they're just going to bang on the walls and smash it again. What I'm hoping, and I'd like to wait for you guys to let me know, but I, I'm not sure how much of the building I'm going to be able to do on and off camera as I go in and out of it uh, today to, to play. But I feel like if I did sort of, if they fall through here, uh, because maybe it's getting too crazy here at the gate, and I pull the gate up and they, they drop, they fall through here, then there's a passageway that leads out of here. Uh, uh, a tunnel, like a like a sewage tunnel, really, a, a zombie sewage tunnel that goes and pops out right through here. And then if they are interested, they would run out this way and then come around and go in our trap area. I'm hoping that's going to be the case. There's a lot of cotton right here. Whew. Look at all that cotton. <laughs> I had not noticed that before, but there is a ton of it right here. Yeah, very cool. <sighs> It took me a little bit of time to, to get this. You gotta just get these different perspectives of it, you know, and this is the best thing I can think of to get us in. And it's gonna be kind of this cool little area that we could put maybe a light on or something too so it lights up, maybe a couple of lights, uh, and have some fun with some of the lighting also. But at the same time, it's kind of fun to have to think, okay, so how do I keep the hordes that we do get and the witches that do come by, that how do we, how do we deal with them? Uh, without them tearing up our walls and stuff. Um, okay, so basically the drawbridge is going to sit at this level right here. Is that right? It 
seems really low to me, but it's I don't want it much higher because I don't want to get crazy out here like this, you know. I don't want this becoming this huge mountain to climb up onto. Uh, so we are going to have to go low with the drawbridge, and we will make everything else kind of fit into place. So basically the drawbridge is sitting right here, and I'm going to dig this down so the zombies drop, you know, and they can't reach it, of course. There we go. This shovel is just absolute hot knife through butter. So this is our drawbridge level right there. Well, I don't know why I'm doing that, because I've got to actually take this back a little bit. Well, let's let's go ahead and leave that so I've got a marker. And then I've got to figure out, okay, where do I set this thing? I wouldn't actually mind if we actually did set it, just to uh, have it in place. I feel like these two areas are going to be the first couple of areas that we really get started in. Oh, I forgot that too. I forgot the drawbridge. It's in the workbench back at home. 1542. I think I've got this lined up right now. I think so. This will be our pit. And then, like I said, we'll do a little bit of a tunnel coming out of this. And maybe even... Um, Maybe even allow them to just go travel underneath here if they want to, you know? Hmm. It's going to be, it's definitely an interesting idea as to, as to what I'm going to do to to defend the base from these guys. I think the entrance way might work. We'll see. We'll see. But, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll keep working on it here. I've got that back there. It's one, two, three, four, five. So this is the the see so what I was gonna do is I was gonna take the dang drawbridge and set it down and take a look at it and see if it actually fits in this location or not. Uh, you could do that. It's quite easy. I just need to uh, have it in my inventory so I can, and that's why I made one. But I didn't bring it with us. Nope. Why would I do that? Uh, we fill this in. We ramp that down. We may even want to bring this back in just by one right here. All right, it's starting to come together a little bit. I wish I had that drawbridge in my inventory. I'll probably run home for the night. And uh, it's it's my Saturday, and I'm by myself, so I'm going to be playing off and on throughout the day. So what I think I'll do is I'll just keep recording off and on and, and bring you all of it. And uh, when I'm playing and, and doing something that I think is important or that I should share with you, then we'll, we'll share it. But... Uh, yeah, I'm going to take a little break, and then I'll come back, and we'll, we'll probably have uh, uh, some other stuff done. It's not going to be too shabby right there for an entranceway to drive up. That should work out pretty good. I don't want to pull it any further this way, so we'll keep it like that right there. So it's, it's kind of a, well, maybe it is a steep incline, I don't know, let's see. Hmm. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah, that is not good. It does not like that at all. Almost what I need to do is bring it out and then lower it down. I need to try to meet the grade a little bit as we're coming down here. Because, yeah, this is... This is coming down steep and then hitting steep. So that's not going to work that way. I almost need to build this out until it reaches uh, into the landscape itself over here. So where is that mark? Let's see. Uh, this is the height I'm trying to go for. Let's see what we have, what we can do here. So it wants to hop up. Okay, that's where it wants to hop up. having to cover a lot more now than I wanted to. 
Although what we could do is we could follow the landscape and fill this in a little bit. That wouldn't be too bad. But this would be the, uh, the best thing to do, I think, is to come back here and make it so we could just drive straight on. Oh, there's Pete. Look at that. He's way out there. Oh, I don't have my sniper rifle with me. Oh, we got a wandering horde, looks like. Oh, we do. They're coming right by us. Huh, nice. Got his head. Got her head too. Any more? See what I mean? That's that's what I want I want to be able to do is I want them to I want them to be able to want to come into this trap over here. So that when I activate, I see them, I can do that. I can make them come in there. That would be awesome. So this is making this much larger than I thought it was going to be. And I feel like instead of doing this, that, okay, we're going to fill that in, of course. But I believe what we should do is we should actually make this bow out and, and follow the road. So that when we come down the road and we come onto this, it matches the road exactly. Welcome back. Huh, several hours later. A little lunch, a nap, a couple of movies, mm. fresh pot of coffee now, ready to go. Ready to go back at it again. We're heading back out to the uh, Lakeview property. It's a little more laid out. Oh, look at there. Huh. That is awesome. A level one auger. That's pretty cool. That's a little something. I thought we'd move these two cars out of the way because they are always kind of in the way when I come down this corner here. Who is that? Is that? Is that? I think that's Luke out there. Watch it, rabbit. Boy, there's all kinds of animals all over the place. Two wolves overnight, so the meat situation's fine. I mean, it's so good. And then, um, uh, pick the farm. Pick the farm. So we've got a little extra corn coming in, which is nice. It's really good to have that little extra bit coming in. Uh, but now, yeah, I want to go out here. We're gonna we're gonna lay some some footprint down. We're gonna get the entrance way at least nailed in, uh, concreted up with the drawbridge. I've got all the stuff on the jeep with us, so we're good to go. Um, yeah, so we're gonna do a little bit of building out here and see if we can't get ourselves an approach and a way to get inside that that uh, that circle. So we can, you know, work comfortably in there and, and kind of stay over here and work on it. There's a chicken. A cock! This thing's gonna lay an egg there. All right, I'll be back. We're almost, uh, we're almost to the dirt road turnoff here in a little bit. Yeehaw! Oh man, this road is so much fun. Oh, I forgot to look at guardrails. Ah. Well, we've got time to do that, right? We're gonna be back and forth between here, anyways. Uh, the chopper would be faster, although it does not take long to get here in, in the Jeep. The road is just super windy, you know. And it's it's got these nice jumps all over it. I love the fact that you go flying every time uh, you go around one of these curves. It's fun. And we are here. So you can see I've got this laid out a little bit more. Uh, it's all rebar right through here. So this is going to be... Uh, I, I can't remember if I talked about this or not. I didn't look back at the footage. But um, I believe we got this far possibly together. Uh, and I'm hoping that this is going to work out just fine. So we're going to need this. And we are going to need some a concrete mix. We're going to lay this down and get it laid out. I want to show you something on the map. If I don't forget between the, dropping this stuff in here and... Boom, boom. Uh, yeah, let's drop you in there. And there, and there, and there. Perfect. All right, beautiful. Map. 
if you look at this, it shows where I've got the rebar frames laid right now. You can see it lines up with the road pretty well, and that's what I was hoping to go for, is just to kind of line up with the road. Now, you can see the bottom curve there. We're not really lined up with it. We're kind of cutting across it, so I think I'm going to be okay with that because I, I want to kind of reinforce this area anyways. You know, we're going to have our initial wall that we're going to put up, but then we have to beef that wall up, basically. So I'm kind of hoping that this is going to work out pretty good because it, it sits pretty level. I, I could put one more block in here, but I think it's gonna it wants to hop up on the next level. So I think I'm going to just leave that just as is, just like that. And we're going to fill this in, and I want to uh, park up here and see what it's like. And we're just kind of following the contour of the road here. There we go. Beautiful. Look at this. This is nice. Yeah, I want the zombies to be okay with coming up here. I do. Um, what I'm thinking about doing up here is we will wire us a uh, turret, say, in this sort of an area right here. So if they come in and get up in this area, it just automatically kills them. You know, shoots them from behind. I think that would be probably the only thing we would need here is a turret pointed towards the entrance and that should handle anything that comes up on this pad uh, and then we've got all this space on the side where we can do something you know kind of decorative on the side of it here too we'll figure something out but we've got to get some kind of a foundation going otherwise I've got nothing to build on and nothing to see and nothing to have to work around so uh, let's go ahead and I should get that drawbridge figured out too, but I think what we can do is go ahead and finish laying this out with rebar frame and uh, knocking it together. I've made a bunch of them. We've got a bunch of rebar frame, but yeah, this is kind of the next thing that has to be done is I've got to um, replace these guys. So this always takes a little bit of time because of the way I build, you know. Oh, didn't like that, did it? Oh, yeah, these are angle ones. There we go. So, yeah, I got to do this next. This is going to take a little bit of time. Uh, so I will break away. If there's something that comes to my mind, I will come back and we will talk about it. Level. Nice. It's getting harder to level, you know. It takes a little more work because, you know, the farther apart. But that's that's okay. It's not about the levels right now. It's about the building. And when you're building, you get so much XP. Just rolls right along by. Almost done with the pad here. Glad I got the concrete going again. Now we really need the other place to be cranking out the materials, right? This is going to be good. This is good. We got that whole place to to create all the materials we need to be able to drive up here and, you know, have this, this other base over here. This is good. All right, so we decided the drawbridge was going to go. Let's Let's see if we can take a look at it and see what it looks like. How's this going to work? It's a little lumpy. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be, though. Park and brake. There we go. It's not a bad size pull on. We can we can pull on here pretty uh, pretty easily. If you get back far enough, you can see. So it's going to lay on that first block. So that is the block we wanted on right there. Perfect. We're doing it. We're getting started. Uh, the entrance way, I think, you know, it, it just seems to me the medieval style entrance works the best, right? It's just uh, this, this little moat idea here. Uh, hopefully will be enough. 
See, I don't want them getting down in here, because they'll just dig. They'll just start digging when they're down here. And there we go. Drawbridge in. Perfect. Basically, we've got to build up the sides. So, of course, nothing can come down that way. Like so. It's still kind of tight, but it's doable. It's doable. That's doable to turn in there. It's reasonable, I think. And, and this is going to push out probably a little bit more, too. We may even bring it out uh, over to the edge of this instead. This kind of this next hump. Bring it down to there. We might do that. This is just kind of a rough shell that we're, we're getting set up right now. And then we'll, we'll move forward from here and, uh, you know, continue to just uh, hopefully improve on it. So we're looking at a sizable structure for sure. Hmm. Give me one second here, okay? I'll be right back. I get my, my coffee filled up again. We have the drawbridge secured in. Boom, boom. On this side as well now. So I'm having to tear down a bit of the hillside, of course, to make way for this thing. Um, so it looks to me like this is our level right here where we're going to be at. Now I, I, I possibly could hop up one more block as we come in but i don't really see the sense in that i feel like I, I need to come back just just keep going back this way um at this level here and this is going to be a floor above the next one really should dig out that bottom area first of course before i start laying a floor above it Kind of hoping I can get a little something going here to be able to shack up in here. But I don't know that it's going to be possible in one day. I think what I need to do next really is um, I've got a place now where I can pull the Jeep in. I don't think I could even get the Jeep in here yet. I think I need more space. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make enough area here for the Jeep to park inside with the drawbridge up. And then what I need to do is I need to get this outline. I need to get this all hammered in into place first. That's what needs to be done uh, next. And then I'll have some kind of a protection, protective area around me while I'm in here uh, working. Here's something. There's somebody jumping around. Someone asked if the zombies walk in water. They do. They just walk right through it. They don't. It's like it's not even there. It's over here. Oh, look at this. We got two wolves. Couple of sneaky wolves over here. Did I get him? Yeah, I did. Did I? Yeah. So, do the wolves come in packs again? Because that's a thing. That's a dangerous thing. Having a pack of wolves come up on you. What's even more dangerous is when you get one of those uh, zombie bears with a bunch of zombie dogs running at you. That's a crazy thing. Still feel like I hear something. Maybe not. All right, so I've got the outline for this first area. This is our highest spot on here. So this is going to be... You know, um, this upper area will have will have room to play inside this upper area. It's going to be a very large room. 
Um, I probably got a little hasty with these blocks right here. I'm going to wind up having to take these guys out. That was, uh, yeah, I just, I wanted to get the outline so I could see it. I just have to see it in order for me to figure out what it is I'm doing. So we've got a bit of an outline going on. Let's see if we can see it better from over here, maybe. Yeah, see, I want this to come out this way. And we're going to do a little something here, too. I was also thinking off camera, too, is that maybe what we could do is really turn this entranceway into a gauntlet for the zombies, where they have to... We're going to dig down into the ground for all this stuff here. All of it's going to go down into the ground, uh, hopefully into stone. Um, but we could do... Like, I want to do that little causeway right through here. We could turn that into some sort of a bunker type thing. Uh, do some sort of trap system in here, just so when zombies, if they do come in on this direction, we can encourage them to by just dropping the drawbridge that would allow them in uh, to come up here and have, you know, a couple of turrets up here shooting at them. Uh, another turret possibly in this corner shooting at them as they go by. So um, I think in terms of coverage for what would be just an apocalyptic horde, not a, a blood moon horde or anything like that, it would be uh, a, a pretty good defense. It'd be kind of fun as well, I think, just to have, uh, if they come up this way, they've got a couple of turrets maybe to go through to, uh, you know, get to us. And, and, and then again, we could do the electric fence here, uh, like we have set up at the other base right now with a turret on the inside of here too. And again, encourage the zombies to go ahead and just come through this way. And if it gets to be too much or something, we can always just close it have them fall in here, and then uh, go back to the other location. Uh, we could do something like that and have actually two different areas where we could fight, depending on what the horde is, uh, fight it from, which could be kind of fun as well to design two different little areas, uh, this being one and that being the other over there. But I think we've got a bit of more foundation going here, so I'm thinking about just knocking this into place right here, digging straight back, and that's going to give us a room... It looks to me like it's going to be one, two, three blocks high, but I would not mind if our first room was actually as high as this right here. A really big room uh, so that we can have like maybe half of this moon even up above with catwalk and stuff. So when we go up on it, we can look down into this room down here. That's what I was thinking. And I would like this to be big enough to where we could drive the Jeep in and actually turn it around and then drive back out of here. Uh, that would be one of my main goals as well in this area. But I've got to get all this stuff out of here. You know, I could use the auger, but I tell you what, man, sometimes there's just something about shoveling in this game or using your pick or your, your axe. It's just pretty soothing. Not so much the axe for me, uh, working with it, but... Um, the pick and the shovel, I sure do like using them. And the shovel, once I get through that first layer, it's just one hit. And it just goes away, and it's in my inventory. And we're getting clay back that we don't have right now, so it's pretty nice. Uh, it's getting to be 4 o'clock in the afternoon. I will go home overnight and, of course, pick the farm. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep that cement going. I've got to keep it going. And I need to go down and do an iron run as well because um, it would be good to get the iron the forges going. I have them going right now, but it would be good to... You know, we got to keep them going. This is going to be an expensive uh, build with these materials, but that's pretty cool. I'm, I'm, I'm excited about that. I like it. That's why we built the other place. Uh, so a building we are doing right now, for sure. Uh, so we're... I guess I'm, I guess I feel like I'm getting a, a general idea as to what's going on right now with what I'm building. Thought I just heard something. Hmm. Maybe not. This project has started, and I'm excited about it. I've got ideas in my head. My thing is, is I'm wondering if I'm actually going big enough. I know. For what I'd like to actually do. So, um, I'm also think. No, I hear something.
It's another wolf. Was a pack of wolves. You know, if they don't find you right away as they're running through, they just sort of stop eventually, don't they? And then they just kind of move about. This is a good spot right up here. You can see a long ways. Anyways, those are some more thoughts I have about the base in terms of uh, defenses. be a big place it's going to be a big place so we're actually doing we're actually making some pretty good headway while we're sitting here talking like this so this week yeah this weekend I'm gonna do some some episodes I, I should probably edit this it's it's kind of a little bit late in the Saturday night for a Saturday episode <laughs> to be posting one but I could get it done and get it up and let you guys see it and then I'm going to work some more, of course, on it, and, uh, and then probably record again on Sunday. And then, of course, we'll have videos each day next week as well, just like we always do. I've been enjoying having just the one series, so the comments are fresh every day. I think that's really awesome. All right, so I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, do hit that like button for me, comment, subscribe, and share. I'm the Radio Man 03. Have an awesome, a fantastic, and a superb day. And I look forward to talking to you again next time.